let's let's do nine sixteenths plus seven twelfths. Now, the first thing I want you to do when you see something like this is, do you recognize that? Okay, we're adding fractions. We've got to make the bottoms the same, right? Now, the temptation is just to multiply by 12 over 12 and 16 over 16. Now, that is not a good move because it will actually get you the answer, but it's not a good move because it's going to lead to a really big uh, numbers and a lot of work to simplify our answer. So, let's not do this. Okay, let's be smarter than this, right? Um, if we do this, it's just going to be a lot of work. So what I want you all to do is just simply factorize 16. Just just do this, do two little arrows, and tell me two numbers that multiply to give 16. 8 and 2, that's good, right? And um, so what I'm trying to, the first thing I want you to notice is that, look, it doesn't, don't, don't we have a common factor on the bottom here? Like what goes into 12 and also 16? Four does, right? Four does, yeah. Um, and so so that's actually good. Is that the highest common factor of, of both bottoms here, actually? Yeah. So so actually, just for fun, even better than... It, uh, give me a four times what gives 16. Beautiful. And break 12 up for me. 12 is four times what? Ah, oh, that's nice. Um, so what I want you to do is write this as 9 over 4 times 4 plus 7 over 4 times 3, all right? Right? And now, to make the bottoms the same, we're going to multiply by unit fractions in both here and here, right? So let's set it up. But I want you to get... The, make a bottom that's the same has the same list of factors basically right so over here put a number here and then put a number here so that both bottoms are the same what should you plug in here and here to make just in the, the what little numbers should we put in here and here to make both bottoms the same a three or the nine lovely put a three here yeah yeah because now we got a three four four and here we got a four, three, oh, missing a four. Got it? Now the bottoms are the same. Magic, right? And if I put it, if I multiply the bottom here by a three, I must multiply the top by a three. So I'm multiplying this by a unit fraction. It doesn't change the value of nine sixteenths, but it'll change what it, what it looks like. Similarly over here, you multiply the bottom by four, must multiply the top also by four, right? So, we get 3 times 9 over 3 times 4 times 4, right? Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, multiply everything out at this point, right? So 3 times 9 is what? 27. And what's 3 times 4 times 4? Take your time. Forty-eight, good. And now the top here, we got seven times four. Twenty-eight. And the bottom, four times three times four. Forty-eight. So we have twenty. How would we just? How would you describe that fraction? Like, how would you? What is that fraction here? This one on the left. It. What? What? What would you call that one? Yeah, and it, the name of it is 27 48ths, right? And how would you, what's the name of this fraction here? What would you? 28 48 Yeah, 28 48ths. Good job. So we have 27 48ths and 28 48ths. And, and we it's kind of like, um, it's like, it's like adding like terms. It's like having, you know, 27 um, 48ths. It's like having 27 um, bananas plus, you know, 28 bananas, and that makes so many bananas, right? Um, well, in fact, it is, add 27 and 28, and you get what? Fifty-five, exactly. 
So it's 27 bananas, 28 bananas, it's kind of like having 55 bananas. 27 48s plus 28 48s is like having 55 48s, right? 55 48s. Good. So um, that's correct, and we could also write this as a mixed number for fun. You go 48 into 55 goes how many times? One time, and what's the remainder? The remainder is 55 minus 48. Uh, I need to carry. That becomes a 4. That becomes 15. And 15 minus 8 is 7. Right? So 1 and 7 48s. 1 and 7 48s. Yeah. But that's as an improper fraction. And that's the answer as a mixed number. Yep. There you go. And that's a lot less work than doing it this way. See how, remember we multiply, we figured out, hey, yeah, let's multiply by 3 over 3 and 4 over 4, which is way better than 12 over 12 and 16 over 16, isn't it? So again, we found the common factor. We find the common multiple, and we, we, we factorize the bottoms, right? So what we did is we factored the bottoms, or the denominators, and then we um, we basically found our lowest common denominator, which was 48, by multiplying by 3 over 3 and 4 over 4. And then we just added, okay? So that's our three steps. Factor the bottoms, find the lowest common denominator, and add, right? Now, if I did it the long way, holy moly, 16, 12, multiply by, it's 2, carry 1, that's 3, put a 0 down. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, that's 1, 9, 2, my gosh. And 12 times 9 is 108 over 192 plus, and this is uh, 42 and 70, 112 over 192, which gives me, um, let's see, 220 over 192. Again, this is actually correct. It's just a lot of work, isn't it? Because now I have to divide by 2 to get 110. I have to divide by 2 here to get 96. And so that's 110 over 96. Whew, let's divide by 2 again. That's 48. That's 55. Woo, we got there in the end. 55 over 48, right? But by golly, that was a lot more work than our trick of just factoring the bottoms. Right? Yeah.